Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all the titles that I picked up during the recent Criterion Flash sale, so stick around. So the Criterion Collection website recently had a 50% off flash sale, which I usually participate in those flash sales because you get a great deal, plus you can earn points toward um, a future coupon. Um, you know, like a $50 off coupon, which I was able to get this round because of all the titles that I picked up. Um, so if you've never purchased directly from the Criterion Collection website, I would highly recommend you check that out. I do catalog all my purchases on their website for the Criterion Collection, and I also keep a wish list. The wish list comes in handy because, you know, the collection that I have, sometimes it's hard to remember what I have and what I don't have, and it's also... Um, recommendations that people give on different live streams that I participated in where I'll put on my wish list things that they've talked about so that when these sales come around I'll be able to remember what to purchase. Now I did purchase um, seven titles. So first up I got the trial. This is one that um, is a recent release. It's a 4k release. I've never seen this before. I wanted to check it out. So, very interested in this. It's an older film. Another one that I've been anticipating getting is EO. I've heard um, other people talk about this one. So, definitely want to check this one out. I don't really know much about it, but it was an Academy Award nominee. Which is pretty much all I needed to know. And then next up, I got The Innocent. Um, I saw that this right here was a recent new release. And I saw all of the um, awards that it had won. So looking forward to checking this one out. Pretty much a blind buy. Okay, next up, I got La Bamba. So I did have, I do have La Bamba from the Twilight Time release from several years ago. So I was very excited. I was very excited when I saw that the Criterion Collection was going to be adding this to the collection. I love this movie. And I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out with this new scan. Okay, next up, I got One False Move. Um, now, with this movie, I made a false move by purchasing this because I actually bought this during the last Criterion Barnes & Noble sale. So, I got a second copy now. You would think that with a collection like mine that I would keep better track of things. And I typically do, but this flash sale happened while I was at work. So, I was on my phone trying to figure out what I needed. And for whatever reason, I ended up ordering something that I did not need. But anyways, this right here will be on sale on my eBay page soon. Okay, next up we have, and of course with One False Move, I still haven't watched it yet. So I definitely need to watch it. Maybe it'll stay in my mind a little bit better. Uh, but next up I watched The Vanishing. This is one that I've been wanting to pick up for a very long time. I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. I've actually seen the remake of this, the or the American version of it. Um, and I really enjoyed that one. I think it had Kiefer Sutherland and Sandra Bullock in it. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the original. I've heard great things about it. So lastly, I picked up Todd Browning's Sideshow Shockers Freaks. I'm really excited to check this one out. Um, I'm not very familiar with it. I know that it shows the unknown, the mystic. Um, so I'm not really sure what this is all about, but I did order it. I had actually pre-ordered this one back in July when it was first announced and not realizing that I had pre-ordered it, I ordered it from the Criterion sale. So now I have two copies of this. Again, um, huge collector, so huge problems when it comes to buying duplicates. i got to get a better system in place, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking out Freaks. So those are the titles that I picked up during this recent Criterion Collection flash sale. Hopefully you were able to pick up some titles. Hopefully you didn't buy any duplicates like I did. But I look forward to seeing what all you've picked up. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my titles that I picked up. And also let me know of the titles that you picked up and some recommendations of titles that I should pick up during the November Barnes & Noble sale because that will be the next sale that I will be participating in for the Criterion Collection. Hopefully I'll be able to watch some of these before that comes, before that sale starts. Um, I know Halloween is almost here and almost over with so then I can start more, I can start focusing more on my Criterion Collection titles. I do like to um, watch a lot of these during the sale months 
and in between um, but there's so many in the collection that it's hard to really keep um, caught up with it but I'm definitely going to be checking a lot of these out before this next sale um, if you like what you saw here today please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you do subscribe please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video if you haven't found me on my social media accounts I'm on Instagram TikTok and on Twitter and if you'd like to find out what I've been watching you can find me over on Letterboxd I do have links below but thanks again for watching and we will see you next time